Hello, everybody. Anthony Aries here, and I'm with my father-in-law. Hello, hello. Uh, his name is Albert. I actually call him Papa. Um, and uh, he's 64 years old. First time he's ever made a video before. And he came to me and he said, Anthony, I want to make a video of uh, Grace's uh, one year when she turned a year old. We have a whole bunch of pictures. He's like, I would love to make a video of that. And I said, you know what? Why don't you come into the office and we'll make a video together and I'll show you how to use video spin and how easy it is to make a video. You've never made a video before, right? Never. First time. First time. All right. So give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, but you know, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna walk him through it, okay? And uh, first thing I need for you to do, Papa, is I need for you to click this browse button over there. Okay. This one right here. Right. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, you're gonna double click on documents. And I've got a folder here called AA Grace. And inside that folder is about 30 pictures of Grace's one year old birthday. Just double click that and then hit select folder. All right, cool, so he did that part. Now, we're gonna select destination folder. So hit browse there. This is where the video is gonna go when it's done. All right, so hit uh, documents over here. Okay. And then hit video spin grace up there. All right, perfect. Then hit select folder. All right, so you've got that one done. Now we're gonna put some music on the video. And so we're gonna hit browse over there. and uh, documents right there and AA music music yep double click that and then hit select folder see as well as I used to <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna do like you can do intros and outros so we have like a final video image so just click over there that browse button all right and then we're gonna hit documents over there and then we're gonna hit that video spin logo this one here. Double click there. Okay. And then, so now just hit spin. Hit, hit it one time. Okay. All right, so away it goes. So now Video Spin is actually working and making the video for us. So while it does that, I'm going to kind of go over some of these other buttons over here. So um, you can actually use video clips and you can actually use images. Uh, you can use, you know, so you can put a whole bunch of stuff in a folder. You can put a whole bunch of video clips. You can put a whole bunch of images in a folder. And you can tell Video Spin how many you want to use per video. So in this case, we've got about 30 pictures in that folder. And so we're telling Video Spin we want to use 30 images, okay? Um, we can then create up to 100 different videos. And I'll just toggle this over here so you can see. We can to 100 different videos. But in this case, for the sake of this video, we're just going to create the one video, okay? Um, and then another thing is um, you can you can also select like how long to spend on each of the videos. So in this case, we're gonna spend about two seconds on each of the videos. And then that's minimum, right? And then maximum duration would be three seconds. So you can like, you know, mess around with how you want to do that um, and then the next thing is the transition time this is in milliseconds okay so I've got that set at around 840 and then video quality I have it set to uh, medium all right then the next thing uh, you can do a watermark on the video if you want so what I did was I have like a video spin watermark uh, you can do video transitions. We have all kinds of video transitions. You can do like slide from the left, slide from the right, slide from the top, slide from the bottom, appear. And so we selected all of them. Because we're rendering the video right now, as you can see, we're at 16%. I can't click that button, but when we're done, I'll show you how that looks. And then this is a really awesome feature. Let's say, you know, you want to create, you know, 100 videos and you want each of the videos to have keywords in the file names. You can actually go and do that right here in the file names. You can put all of your keywords. So if you created, let's say, 100 videos and they, you know, you wanted to go after 100 different keywords, it'll create the video file names of those 100 keywords. We all know how important that is for getting on the first page of Google. Okay, so that covers, you know, all the different settings that you can do over there. Now you can do also, uh, you can have a, a music folder with a whole bunch of different music. So you can do different music. And another thing is all 100 of the videos will all be different lengths. So when you upload them to YouTube, you're not gonna have a duplication problem. 
all right? And you can, again, put different music on all of the videos. You can also select what percentage of volume you want the music to be, all right? Um, and then you can select if you want to play audio with the intro image or not. You can select if you want to play audio with the intro image or not. And then you can select different images. You can do the outro image. So this is the final video image. We put the logo there. And then for an intro image, you can also put... Uh, you can also put the, the logo or you can you know, select what you want to do for an intro image there. and You could have a video spin play the, the, the music during that intro image. So as you can see, there's a lot. To, it can do a lot. And this works with Mac. You don't have to use parallels. OK, and it works with PC. Um, and I developed this for my own personal use. So uh, this bad boy works. Uh, it's something we've used in our business. I had to have it developed for my business. Now, the video is done rendering. Now, really quick, let me just show you. Here are all the different transitions. As you can see, we selected all of them. You got cross dissolve, fade to black, fade to white, from left, from right, from top, from bottom, from center, and then zoom to center. Um, and then here's like the list of file names. So you would just copy and paste all your file names in there. As you can see, this is a very robust piece of software. Um, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to click over here and we're going to just take a quick look at the video so you can see what that video looks like. Uh, we're going to go to that destination folder. Let's see if we can find it over here. Oops, I'm in the wrong thing. Uh, all right, video spin grace. So here's the video right here and I'm going to click it so that we can watch it really quick. cake so there you have it folks not a bad video right uh, decent quality and uh, imagine being able to just create up to a hundred different variant uh, video variations at the click of a button you can use this for affiliate marketing so let's say you wanted to create a hundred different health niche videos you could use this for local marketing let's say you wanted to attack the roofing niche a hundred different keywords. You could create a hundred different roofing videos. None of them are going to ha have duplication issues uh, with YouTube. Um, you can do this, like I said, at the click of a button. If you wanted to do videos for your physical product e-commerce business, at the click of a button, you could, I mean, we only clicked a few buttons and boom, we zapped out one video. Again, we could have created up to a hundred I come over here we could up to a hundred videos so this is an absolute no-brainer for your business the alternative would be for you to have someone create all these videos it's gonna cost you a fortune even if you went to Fiverr and you created 100 videos at five dollars a pop it's gonna cost you five hundred dollars right with video spin you can save yourself hundreds of dollars over and over again in fact if you wanted to you could go and create videos and be a fiber provider and make a small fortune doing it all right so thank you so much for watching our video i look forward to seeing you on the other side as a video spin customer yours for prosperity anthony aries